Hello everyone, welcome to another Star Wars Older Public video, and for this video I'm going to be talking, or not going to be talking, I'm going to be doing a Command Crate opening video. Uh, so I am Command Rank 13 right now, so which means I do have 12 Command Crates to open. And um, I've been grinding CXP lately, doing a ton of War Zones, and, um, and uh, finally I was able to get to Command Rank 13, which is not a lot. However, I'm really hoping I can maybe get some good luck, get some nice gear. Although to be quite honest, from what I've experienced in War Zones, gear doesn't really matter for PvP that much. So I'm not too worried about this. I mean, I've been killing it with just 208 gear. Uh, I've been getting, you know, topping off the DPS charts and having a ton of fun bursting people down. So I'm not too worried about this. Okay, right off the bat, um, there's no gear piece. That's very interesting. I thought every single command crate was supposed to give you a gear piece, but uh, but this is not uncommon because I was watching some of the other YouTubers do their command crate openings, and the first crate they open never has a gear piece for some reason. However, I'm going to go ahead and disintegrate this assault cannon. I'm pretty sure every other command crate should give me at least one gear piece. Looking at this schematic, I'm not I don't care too much about schematics because I don't craft, so I'm probably going to end up disintegrating a few of them, but I'll keep them all in here for now. I don't really know what's considered a good schematic or not. Um, so I'm not sure what's like good, what I should keep or not, but um, but going into the second one, I got a relic of devastating vengeance, which is purple relic. So I guess I'll keep that. I'm not. I don't care about pets at all. I mean, this little thing looks pretty cool, but um, but no, I'd rather take the hundred command crates. I mean, command points. That's actually a ton for the disintegrations. I disintegrated my uh, companion gift last time, and um, and it only gave me 10 CXP. So I'm actually gonna keep the companion gifts as well. Uh, opening the next one, we have a focus. The Eternal Commander MK2 Force Masters Focus. Um, see, I'm not sure, is this a legendary? Because legendaries are supposed to be orange, but this one only has 230 blue mods. So I guess I'm going to disintegrate it. I mean, I'd rather open the second one. Let's see what I get in the second one. Uh, we get this sniper rifle, which I don't care much about. These vanity items are not too nice, so I'm definitely going to disintegrate a lot of them. I mean, uh, and I'm also going to disintegrate this focus, I guess, because... Um, it's blue mods, and I'm not, I don't care about these green or blue mods at all. Uh, because as I mentioned, from my experience in PvP, it, gear, gear doesn't really matter. So I'll keep all the purple stuff, but, uh, but all these uh, green stuff, I'd rather um, just disintegrate it. And the blue thing as well. Although I'm wondering, was that legendary? I mean, I, I hope not, but, uh, but it didn't look like it. It was blue mods, so. Alright, I'd rather just open a ton at a time and then just disintegrate them all at once in the interest of, uh, in the interest of saving time. This reputation item, uh, you know, I guess I'm gonna keep it because, uh, who cares about disintegrating it just for 10 CXP? It doesn't seem like it's really worth it. I'm gonna disintegrate all these vanity items, uh, Mandalorian Forcer Boots, who cares about that? And now for these schematics, this one actually looks like a pretty nice upper body armor. So I guess I'll keep this, uh, I guess I'll keep this schematic just in case I ever think about crafting maybe at one point in time. Uh, Recon Spotter Belt. Yeah, these are easy CXP guys. Just disintegrate all this stuff. As you guys can see, I just uh, leveled up another command rank just by disintegrating. Uh, all this vanity stuff, I don't think it sells very well in the GTA and I haven't tried, but I'd much rather take the CXP. I mean, 100 CXP is, is going to be really nice. All right, I type in 60. That's going to be annoying if it keeps asking me whether I want to claim all of it. All right, opening the next one. Um, what's the gear piece here? We got Exonium Ore. Okay, that's just a reputation. Uh, this is a... Seems to be just a cosmetic uh, blaster. We have a uh, schematic. And then where's the gear piece? All right, looking at this blaster. Eh, this is okay. I guess we'll... Uh, yeah, I'm kind of double-minded as to whether I should disintegrate these um, uh, these schematics, but I guess I will. I mean, who cares about them? Oh gosh, I hope I didn't uh, max out my um, my stash. I hope I didn't lose anything. All right, looking at it, it seems like we actually got some pretty nice stuff. Okay, I'll quickly claim this green stuff so I um so I have some space here. Looking at this schematic, uh, this is a relic. Ugh. Oh, this is actually a pretty nice helmet for a commando. I think I'll keep this one. Uh, just because um, I do have a commando and I don't know, maybe I'll end up using it at one point in time. Maybe it'll sell well in the GTN, I don't know. Uh, looking at this lightsaber itself, uh, looks actually pretty cool, but definitely what's uh, what's good about this are the mods. This seems to be an artifact level 230 modded lightsaber, which I'll definitely use for my Sith Warrior, so that's very nice. Uh, the, we have a green gear piece here, I'll disintegrate that. As I was saying, I don't care about green stuff at all. Alright, opening a, yet another one. Seems as though we have a uh, another relic, oh a purple relic, that's pretty cool I guess. So we'll definitely claim that. Um, 
we'll disintegrate that. We will claim 16 of these. God, this is annoying. It keeps asking me whether I want to uh, claim the full stack or not. There we go. We'll claim this, um, uh, this reputation stuff. All right, so I'm going to disintegrate those schematics just because um, probably never going to use them. Oh, this seems like a good piece of gear. Is this set bonus? We have the corrupted bio sample. Okay, whatever. We'll just deal with these quickly and then we'll look at that piece of gear. Challenges lightsaber. Oh, this thing looks really plain and ugly. Uh, we'll definitely disintegrate that. Um, and then the... It oh, yes, this is set bonus. Okay, cool. So that's uh, my first set bonus piece. I got it actually relatively quickly considering there's a ton of people that have said they've opened 40 plus of these and not gotten a single one. So I'll claim that. Uh, before I accidentally disintegrate it. That's what I've seen some other people do accidentally. They uh, they just disintegrate it. So uh, I'm going to claim what I need to make sure I claim. So um, I don't want to screw up. That's something I would probably do. Uh, I get a really good set piece and I'd, I'd accidentally disintegrate it. Seems as though we have a earpiece. So we'll claim that quickly. Uh, oh no, this is a legendary gift. Wow, that's pretty lucky. So we'll definitely claim that. That thing's selling for like a, around 150k on the GTM. So easy creds. All right, we'll claim these uh, packages. I guess the reason I left these initially in here was because I was wondering if maybe I was gonna get a better version of them, but um, but uh, yeah, and I'll claim those schematics quickly. Okay, it seems as though we've got a repeat of this helmet, so I might as well disintegrate that, and I'll disintegrate this uh, schematic as well. Just take the CXP. We have yet another set, set bonus piece. Wow, that is really lucky. Uh, yeah, maybe it's uh, not as hard to get these set bonus pieces as, as uh, some people have been saying. Oh no way! Is this another set bonus piece? The eternal. It seems as though this is the same, uh, the same boots. Okay, we'll quickly get rid of some of these schematics and stuff. What is this? The Eternal Commander MK4 Relic of Boundless. Oh, who cares about relics? I'll claim it though because um, who knows? Maybe I'll craft. I do have a character with simp weaving, so maybe I'll craft it. Ah, oh, this lightsaber looks ugly, so we'll disintegrate that. And uh, yeah, it is another set bonus piece. So that's like three in a row. Let's. Uh, it is a repeat, the exact same one. So I guess I'll disintegrate it. One thing I could do is I could remove the mod and the enhancements and use it on, on another piece of gear, but uh, this thing is going to give me 200 CXP, so I might as well um, just disintegrate it because um, I don't need it. But um, but wow, that is really lucky, actually. Three set bonus pieces. The final command crate, which actually won't be the final one because I'll just disintegrate something here so I can get, uh, get another command crate. Cool. That is command rank 15. All right. We'll claim that and then... This seems to be a repeat as well. We'll quickly check. Uh, this is blue though. I hate getting this blue and green stuff, honestly. So we'll just disintegrate that. And then we've got absolute crap. Who cares about the pets? Who cares about this green, uh, green ear piece? So let's see how this looks. Huh. Yeah, I'm not gonna say, you know, it looks pretty cool, but, um, but no need for that. So we'll disintegrate that. And we'll claim that companion gift, all right. So guys, that is a 15 command crate pack opening. Uh, not too bad at all, actually. Like three set bonus pieces. That is actually insanely lucky. Although unfortunately, one of them was a repeat. I'm not complaining because once again, I've been on Reddit and everyone's been saying, oh, I've opened like 40 of them and only gotten one set bonus piece. So opening 15 of them and getting uh, three set bonus pieces is actually really, really awesome. Other than that, I did get some other nice pieces of gear. I do have this, uh, this lightsaber now that I can use and um, I got some nice other purple stuff. So... Overall, not too bad, but um, but once again, I guess the trick is to just not care because, to be quite frank, I've been PvPing in 208 and I've been doing just fine and I've been having tons of fun, so maybe gear actually doesn't matter as much uh, for PvP. Of course, it probably matters a ton for PvE, so sorry for all the PvE players who are, who are struggling to get as much gear as possible, but for PvP, you get bolstered, so uh, it doesn't really make the biggest difference. Anyways, uh, sorry, my mic shut off there almost. Okay, I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.